Hey, how y'all doing? Uh, this is Taurus Success again with another uh, quick tip. Uh, actually, this is for beginners. I get questions about what actual contract to use. Uh, if you're looking for a contract, just DM me and I'll send you a blank one. All right. This is the contract that I use. It's a uh, one page contract. All right. So this was an actual contract I had. The deal fell through with this one. I think the partner of this guy didn't know that he had already uh, got an offer and signed the contract with someone else. But anyway, uh, I'm gonna put a picture after the video. I don't want to make the video long. I just wanted to talk about contracts. So with the contract that you're doing with the seller, um, a lot of times, they are if they've already purchased the house before they they look for like a long contract that a realtor has a realtor usually has like a 13 14 page contract uh, because they are actually with an association um, and deals with uh, other issues like the government so they have to deal with uh, they have to have inspectors and um, uh, there are regulations that they have to follow so there are lots of stipulations in that contract the contracts we use this one page contract is usually just for a buyer uh, well for the seller so that I can assign the contract to a buyer all right and it's stating exactly what we already agreed upon we already talked about the property we already talked about the repairs we already talked about price so it's stating basically just that that's all that's in there earnest money the the price and whatever else we already talked about it's in the contract they sign the contract and then there's another contract that i use to assign the contract to someone else if i'm wholesaling the property if i'm not wholesaling the property if i'm going to pick it up and flip it then that's all i need just that one page contract take it to an attorney or uh, in some states they're title agents and that's it so i'm going to post a picture that has the, that has arrows pointing to points on the contract and then on the side of the picture it tells you exactly what those arrows what those points on the contract mean um, so just look at the picture read it that's the basis of a purchase and sale agreement from seller to someone like me who's either wholesaling or purchasing a property all right that's my quick tip for today